it's interesting. I guess for the first time, I had. I guess I, I stopped. I may, if I have stopped being a voice for a lot of people, I've definitely started to be a voice for myself. And maybe through that, um, there will be people that identify with it. You know, I think the record is largely about alienation. It's about not fitting in, but not in an outsider way, not in a rebellious way. It's about trying to figure out what my place is in music and art, and then coming to the realization that, um, well, my place is that I don't really place, I don't really fit, and music needs somebody that can't really fit. They need somebody that, that evolves constantly and is not so easy to label. It's not indie, it's not this, it's not pop, it's not that. Like, so I'm just me, and uh, I had to I had to realize that and really take ownership over it. So maybe maybe it won't be the and, and the lyrics are a bit more abstract. So maybe it won't be a voice for a lot of people. Maybe it'll be more of a voice for certain people. But I'll say this about my chemical romance: it did do that, and that's what it was supposed to do, and it accomplished it very well. And I'm really proud of that. And it it. Obviously, that was going to need to come to a conclusion once we felt that we did give people enough of a voice. I, I'm more excited to see what that fan base does creatively, artistically, politically. Like, all the people that were fans of My Chemical Romance, it was definitely time for them to take ownership. It was their turn, basically. We had our turn, gave them, hopefully, a, a little bit of a direction, maybe just some inspiration, maybe just some relief. And, and then they are able to go and make something beautiful of the world.